is a six pound solid shot and it was recovered in Vicksburg, Mississippi in April of this year, 2015. Uh, we were there to attend a Civil War show and we as a family, Jonathan, Alex, my husband John and I went relic hunting the day before the show started and we really didn't expect to find much because we didn't have any clues as to where to look for something. We just got as close to the National Park as we could without getting on it. So we found a subdivision and it had a couple of ravines behind it and the guy had clued us in that over the last 30 years there had been about four or five of these wash out of the embankment and just found on top of the ground. So we got excited. We got up the next morning, went out and started looking. And of course it was hot, Mississippi in April already. And we went up and down, up and down the ravines. And we all had our metal detectors. And we found a couple bullets, but then I got this really loud signal. And I have a white 6,000 that I was hunting with. And I had a hunch of what it was because it was just so dang loud and there was no other trash in the area. So I hollered for Jonathan and Alex to come over and check it out. So we started digging and Jonathan dug and dug and dad jumped in and dug. It was a joint effort because it was about 14 inches deep. Wow. It was way down. It was in the roots of a tree and so Jonathan and John were the first to see it come out of the ground. What do you think about that? Well, I think it's pretty awesome because I've never actually dug one of these before. And this, to me, is very awesome to have because she, Mom has found two of these and Dad has found none. So, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. So this is technically mom's third and dad's first. <laughs> but it's, I think it's pretty neat to have because, I mean, it's neat because we found it in Vicksburg and I've never actually, like I said, never found one. But mom said, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> she kept digging. Her elbow about right here was stuck in the ground trying to grab it. She's like, she was trying to grab it and not let it keep going further and further down the hole to where she just had to give up. When we found it, she said, Alex, Jonathan, John, you want to go, you want to dig up a shell? Because on the dirt, you could see maybe this part and then nothing else because it was all in the dirt. So we dug and dug and dug and we finally got it out. So once we found it, we got so excited and we went all like, we spent another 30 minutes hunting trying to find a new one. <laughs> and it's cool being the first one to catch it, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And it's got a mold seam on it, which is, is that? Pretty much identifiable as Confederate. Confederate, mm -hmm. yeah. And it's got a sprue clip <laughs> on it. But, um, but there's got to be more in there because if that guy had several wash out on their own and then we found one, what, we were out there for maybe an hour and a half. I thought, I thought it was and two hours. And we found it. About two hours. And there was a lot of ground we hadn't covered. Yeah. So the, the only thing is, is that it's steep ravines. You've got to hold on to something while you're digging or you'll mm. slide down it. So that's a good place to look, right? Because not everybody's that gung-ho to hang off the side of a ravine and look. So that's where the good stuff is sometimes, right? Yeah, we found a lot of bullets. Well, yeah. a few. <laughs> but this is pretty awesome to have. And we have like a few, we have like the big ones at home, but just this small one and us finding it all together as family, it's pretty neat to have. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's right. And you can give that to your son one day or your daughter, and then they can pass it on, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pretty yeah. important. Cool. How much do you think that's worth to you? Is there any price you could put on that? Priceless. Yeah. That's right. It is. You wouldn't sell it to anybody, would you? Nope. <laughs>